Sometimes we've said in previous conversations that we like it, stay with us. We like it, stay with us. We like it when you get your back up against a wall sometimes because that causes you to launch rockets and it also causes you to focus. And what we mean by that, it causes you to do more deliberately what you came here to do. You are a powerful creator. You are pure, positive energy in a physical body. You are a creative genius. You are a brilliant creator. And not one of you said, well, I'll go forth into a physical existence. I'll go forth into a human body. But get it all cleaned up first. Get it all looking really good. Get all the bugs worked out. And when it is pleasing to me, then I'll come forth and I'll observe the, the things that are there then. Not one of you said that. Instead you said, I'm eager to jump in because I know the variety and contrast will activate within me my personal preferences. So I get to be a personal deliberate creator. And you also said, and I know that my inner being, the larger part of me, from whence I have come, will remain non-physically focused and will receive each and every desire that I launch and will hold steady those desires in a frequency of pure positive energy. So that any time I get in the vicinity of that, I will feel it and I will feel the inspiration of it and I will be guided. I will be called toward not just the end result, because the end result is what I'm looking for, but called along the journey to the end result, the end result that won't stay the end result because there will be another and another and another and another. You will never get it done and you cannot get it wrong. And the reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done. Wherever you stand is causing you to launch new requests which are being granted immediately by source and non-physical energy and your inner being. And so whether you are deliberately meditating and deliberately quiet your mind, whether you are deliberately focusing, whether you are wanting to be a deliberate creator, still everything is working as you knew it would you knew that contrast would inspire new desire. And you knew that your inner being would get hold of that and become it. And you knew that in that happening, that the whole of you would have a stronger point of attraction. And you knew that the evolution of your species and all other species is based upon exactly that. You knew that the well-being would happen whether you were consciously letting yourself be deliberately in on it or not. That's why you jumped in with such eagerness. And so we know that all is well, whether you get hold of these ideas and are able to deliberately apply them. But we want you to feel not just the ease of relief. We want you to feel the delicious satisfaction of being a hands in the clay, deliberate creator. Nothing is more exhilarating than to for life to cause you to identify a desire and for you to recognize you're not in the vibrational frequency of that desire right now. You can feel you're off because you feel doubt. You have a desire, but you feel doubt. And maybe the doubt, usually in the beginning, is stronger than the desire. But because you know about this and you know what doubt means and you know what feeling better means, because you know what your emotions mean, because they are the indicator of what you're doing vibrationally and how you're closing the gap and whether or not you are leaning in the direction of who you really are or leaning in the direction of who you were which caused you to become more. When you are understanding that and feeling yourself not energized, that's not... That's not what we want you to feel. Feel yourself. Feel yourself called. And trust, even before the evidence, that we've got you. Your vortex has you. It is you. It is you. But sometimes you be a holdout to it. Because... What you want to call real life, it isn't. What you want to call real life, because it's manifested, has your attention and has got you right now just for a little bit pinched off from the whole of who you are. Imagine you or 
the people you love, or imagine a world letting in more of who you are, all that you are. I like that word imagine, because imagine isn't you projecting a thought, writing it down, trying to shine it on a screen. Imaging, imagining is you in the receiving mode, receiving blocks of thought from that larger part of you, and those thoughts being translated by you, because you're in the receiving mode, into images. Imagine, let yourself, let yourself see who you really are. Let yourself live now all that you've been asking for. So, do we know that you're going to get it? We do. And do we know that you're going to get down the road and look back and acknowledge how much, how much has happened within you because of these manifested old news times? You're on the cusp of uh, a reawakening. A reawakening to who you are, to all that you are. But don't misunderstand us. We're not asking you to do this so that you can create more stuff, but you will. That's good. Or so that you can have more things, but you will, and that's good. We want you to feel like you intended to feel when you decided to come. You know how you feel when somebody else has an idea of something that you should do and directs you? And sometimes you're willing to be cooperative and you will do it. And sometimes not feeling that great about it. Sometimes just doing it because somebody's asking you to do it and, and it's a path of least resistance not to evoke their wrath so you just do it. But you still have resistance within you while you're doing it. You're not doing it willingly, you're doing it, but not really willingly, that does not feel good. But you know what it feels like when an idea is hatched within you and, and it's your idea and the idea is calling you and you feel that eagerness and then that idea grows to another and another and another and another. That's how you're supposed to feel. Life is supposed to be fun. That's what satisfaction is. Satisfaction is not you closing the gap between somebody else and what they want for you to do for them. Satisfaction is what happens. It only comes when you close your own gap. When what life has caused you to ask for is being allowed by you because you are focused in that direction rather than in opposition to that. And so, there is eagerness here where we be. We feel eagerness about the newness that you have created and about the closing of the gap that you are upon and about, most of all, the independent exhilaration that you will feel as you allow yourself to be in on your creation. Much of the world launches rockets and doesn't go toward them. That doesn't feel good. Much of the world launches rockets of desire and feel like they can't go toward them and then looks for others to blame about why they're not able to do or receive what they want. But you live in a vibrational universe. It's a universe that is attraction-based. And you are a vibrating being. And the law of attraction is responding to your vibration. So everything that comes to you is being invited by you, whether you meant to do it or not. Sometimes people don't like to hear that. And they'll say, I wouldn't have attracted that to me. I don't want that. And we say, we didn't say you wanted it, but we do say you attracted it by your attention to it. 